Just take it off quickly, can? Take it off and then you put it on the Oh, it's going to be great for beer. <laughs> Are you fooling me? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ken Skylock, and this is episode one of The Skylock Rises. What is it that I can tell you about the album or the, the single that's about to drop? It's very different to what you guys have come to know. The sound is fresh, it's new, it's edgy, it's pop, it's just in your face. And it's really just a powerhouse type song, you know? And I'm so excited to share it with all of you because I know you're just gonna love it. I worked with an awesome producer on the song, um, Abe Stewart, and he was recently nominated for an Emmy Award. When the two of us came together, when we actually met each other and we went into the studio, there was just this magnetic vibe between the two of us. We just understood what, what the both of us wanted and needed out of the song. <laughs> The new sound um, on the third album is quite different. The common thread in all of the music is definitely still my voice, my sound, my authenticity. Um, who Can Skylock is, the Can Skylock that you've come to know and love. But I've also, you know, decided to tap into some, you know, other spheres of my of my personality. So the third album is just a a mixed bag of different sounds. I was doing a lot of experimenting on the third album i was doing a lot of exploring i was being more adventurous i've decided to embrace my my sexy side i've decided to embrace the the emotional side i've decided to embrace um the the powerful side and i embraced myself each song is beautiful and it, and it has its own validity and its own merit i didn't think that much about what i wanted to do I kind of just went with what I felt was good, if that makes sense at all. Because music is a feeling, isn't it? It's, it's something that makes you feel good. Is this, is this thing even, is it on? Oh, oh my God, it is on. I started singing in church. That's kind of where it started for me gospel singer typical story long story short i'm releasing my third album highlights wow there's been so many <laughs> off my first album i was privileged enough to you know get four number ones um that was a big deal for me off your debut album to get one number one is a huge deal so for me to have four number ones off my debut album was just mind-blowing and then came second album um overdrive and two big moments for me was the collaboration between myself and Mr. R.J. Benjamin. Now, R.J. Benjamin is the mentor and musical director for one of SA's biggest shows, um, SA Idols. He is just a phenomenal talent, and he, to me, is the king of R&B in South Africa. And it was always one of my musical dreams to kind of collab with him. I was asked in an interview the one day, who would I collab with? And the first thing that came out of my, out of my mouth was Mr. R.J. Benjamin. We wrote a song together called So High and that made it to number one as well in South Africa. And then the second highlight of, of Overdrive was working with the, the famous Miss Pam Shane, who is best known for her works with Christina Aguilera for Jeannie in a Bottle. I mean, you all know Jeannie in a Bottle. Flew up to LA, met her and her team and we wrote Time Bomb. I still think and I still feel that that experience was so surreal because I was actually sitting in the presence of greatness and Time Bomb made it to number one, yes, but it also received the highest rating out of SA for over 30 years. It's still the highest rated song worldwide and I mean for any African to get that achievement is huge. Is huge and I was so privileged to be the vocalist and the singer to actually have that achievement and have that feather in my cap and then more locally I was also nominated for a Sama award which is the South African Music Awards it's basically the South African Grammys and I was nominated in the best pop album category that is huge for me as well uh, from humble beginnings to being nominated for a Sama award is just 
total elation to the next level. Waking up in the morning is a highlight, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. Because <laughs> in the world of Ken Skylark, <laughs> sleep is something I really, really want. Yes, guys, so just to wrap things up, that was the first episode from the series, The Skylark Rises. Please check out my single that drops on the 4th of January, 2017. Check out my social media as well, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and my website, which is www.canskylark.com for more information. And check out for the album, it's gonna drop really soon as well. And this is me signing out.